we recognize Texas long snapper Nate Boyer for what he's done for his team, his community, and his country. You know, being a Green Beret, you're going to be working with other guys that want the hard missions. They want the difficult environment. They don't want to just serve, but they want to do whatever it takes to make a defining difference in the places that they live. That team is capable of being thrown in the middle of the desert, in the middle of the jungle, and being able to operate as one without any support from the outside world. Uh, you give them a mission, um, give them their teammates, and they can pretty much accomplish anything. In 2008, three years before he would step foot on the turf of Daryl K. Royal, Texas Memorial Stadium, Nate Boyer and his Green Beret brethren were being inserted into southern Iraq during Operation Iraqi Freedom. The first week I was there, a convoy got hit right near our control base. They got hit with an IED and a roadside bomb. Every day you're a little bit afraid over there, definitely. But no one really shows that, I guess, because, you know, what's more important than your life is the guys next to you. He was kind of a normal kid growing up, but he had some qualities that just led him to really challenge himself and accomplish some things that I would have never dreamed that he would do. In my senior year of high school, I wasn't I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to college. I didn't know what I wanted to do, and I didn't, I didn't want to waste my parents' money. So, you know, I met with recruiters and actually came over to the house and met with my folks. Deciding to forego the military, Nate eventually moved to Los Angeles to pursue a career in acting. I remember he wrote us a letter and he said, um, the one thing I've always wanted to do is I've always wanted to be, you know, in movies. We just thought, oh, wow, this is another, you know, oh, where is this going to go? I didn't really get many jobs. <laughs> I studied it a little bit, and uh, for work, for money, I, I worked with autistic kids so I could, you know, pay the bills. One of the mothers, she knew I wanted him to go to college, and she was saying, you know, this is just something so much more, you know, to bring dignity to my little boy, and it made me realize that Nate was going in the right direction. Um, my other children were sleeping, and I just, I just wanted Nate, you know, with me on the phone. My phone rang, and I answered it, and my mom just said, I'd turn on the TV. I mean, it took a minute to register, and it immediately made me think, like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Was I really doing everything I could to help, you know, not just my nation, but just, like, the world? Motivated by the events of 9-11, Inspired by a Time Magazine article on the genocide in Darfur, Nate felt a call to action. He went to Chad uh, in Africa, in the Darfur region. He, he volunteered there. It wasn't out the long of a stay, but he was just all, all on his own, though, at his own expense. He was trying to figure out what the heck was going on in the world. He changed my life, definitely. It's just it, the most amazing part about it was how these people never been to America or even met an American, you know, we're so, like, just grateful. It was overwhelmed by this, like, you know, the, you know this, this need to, to, like, earn earn my Americanism, I guess. So, you know, I came back, and that's why I joined the Army. In 2005, Nate applied to the Army's new 18 X-ray program, an elite course that allowed him to go directly into special forces training. And Nate's the type of guy that you know, special forces is looking for. He's very intelligent. He's able to come off the street, um, go through, you know, the several different hurdles or prerequisites to get into special forces. Not only to make it, but he's one of the best out there. That dedication to his teammates earned Nate a bronze star, the fourth highest combat decoration awarded for acts of heroism or merit in a combat zone. Upon completion of his five-year commitment to the Army, Nate proceeded to tackle his next challenge, college football. The military is all about fighting for the man next to you, looking after each other's back, and that's the same thing on the football field. I came off uh, active duty, and the first place I looked was the University of Texas. Texas is one of the best as far as offering support for soldiers. I knew I wanted to try and play football, so if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it big and try to make one of the best teams in history. One of the days 
a mad dog had us all come out in the field. And, um, he was saying everybody's got to run you know, six laps around the field. And uh, where I come from, when, it's, when you're supposed to go run somewhere, you're supposed to go as fast as you possibly can, you know, until you fall down and pass out or finish. Nate basically lapped the entire team, he finished first, and um, from, you know, the story that I heard was one of the coaches came up to him, asked him what his name was. Mad Dog takes all the team together and, you know, kind of stands me out, you know, and he's like, he's a guy that's 29 years old, and he's in the Army, and he's out here running you guys to the ground. And, you know, at that point I figured, all right, just keep doing that, and, you know, you're going to earn a spot. Everything he's done has involved um, a lot of sacrifice. Nate made the team in 2011 but did not see any playing time during his freshman season. Looking for a way to get on the field, he taught himself to long snap. In the summer of 2012, Nate volunteered for the National Guard and continued to practice snapping while serving overseas. Upon his return, Nate was awarded a scholarship and saw his first game action against New Mexico on September 8th. But it's the action before home games that means the most to Nate. I get in the tunnel and I get handed an American flag. He didn't my thoughts go to those guys that are over there right now. And, uh, you know, I run down and, 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 and I'm thinking about them and thinking about when I'm going to join them next. With great honor, we present this year's Disney Spirit Award to Nate Boyer from the University of Texas. We thank Nick Saban and Ty for being here to pass along this, this great award. And, and Nate, congratulations to you. I think it's powerful what you said about leading the team onto the field with the American flag and what that symbolizes for you. You represent so many people, not just in Texas, but serving around the world. How, how do you handle that responsibility? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's all of our responsibilities. And uh, I, mean, I look at guys like my guests that came. <laughs> Sorry. We've got two guests who are yeah. in the front row here, members of the Wounded Warriors program. Charlie Lemon and Chris Gordon, and uh, so many others that have, you know, passed. And uh, so that I gave the ultimate sacrifice, and I just, I'm, I'm so thankful for, for everybody that's still serving, you know, and I can't wait to meet them again. And, you know, well, so many of us are really thankful for this sport <laughs> um, because when it gets tough, Sometimes it's there, you know, you need something, you need a release, and you need something to take your mind off what's going on. And uh, for me, college football is a huge part of that. You know, I know it's, that's, a, that's for a lot of people. So, I mean, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And, uh, and I just, I'm just, I'm just so proud to just be an American. <laughs> well said. There are, there are two components to this award, and football is one of them. Now, when you look around this room, you're not quite as big or maybe as fast as some of these guys. You're approaching 32 years old. We, we talked at lunch today. You didn't have football at your high school, so you'd never play. What made you think it was possible to play football for the Texas Longhorns? Um, I just think that, uh, you know, if you, if, you, if you believe in something, it doesn't matter who you are, you know, what color you are or where you're from or you know, the hand you've been dealt, you know, I mean, look at these guys, you know, I mean, that's just <laughs> the most positive attitudes, you know, and they, they're, they take the, what they got and they just keep moving forward and, you know, you're just tough. And you see people accomplish things that don't have, you know, everything I've been doing, you know, I'm so fortunate being, you know, a white American male, you know, I mean, I'm getting, I'm given all the opportunities, you know, and if, and if I'm not following my dreams and not doing everything I can to, you know, be the best person I can be, then I'm just, Wasting my time and you know, wasting everybody else's. So, if I got something I want to do, it, it doesn't matter what it is, I'm going to do it. You know, and I just, I'm all about actions. And you know, so many people inspire me. You know, like these guys and 
you know, Sam Childers. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie Machine Gun Preacher, go watch it, because if that doesn't inspire you, I don't know what will. And uh, I know that's it. <laughs> no, we, we admire so many things, your, your courage and your strength and your, your ingenuity. Not many people in this room probably learned how to play college football watching YouTube videos on long snapping, the, the kind of videos that have, what, 30 or 35 views. That was part of your journey, though, right? Yeah, that's part of it. I mean, I, you know, the, the guys that were seniors last year helped me out, you know, gave me some tips. And uh, I just, yeah, I just watched a lot of film on it and just tried to figure it out, you know. And then, you know, I'm so fortunate that, you know, Coach Brown and the rest of the staff gave me an opportunity because, I mean, that's, I knew that's all I needed, you know. If I just got a shot, I could make it happen, you know, and I'm really thankful for that. You're telling me back next season there's a 33-year-old, maybe a 34-year-old the year after that. Congratulations for your service, for your courage, and for your message tonight. Nate Boyer of Texas, Disney Spirit Award winner for 2012, folks.